boys and girls and parents and visitors and everyone. Uh, my name is Sean Berry and I'm the manager of Arts and Cultural Ed for the Cultural Council. And this is a first for us since we've been open. It's the first um, workshop for children that we've done. And so you're a first. Yay! And I'm really, really excited about this and also it's wonderful. Um, Everything that's taking place, first of all, your drumming. Your drumming is wonderful. I'm a musician. I'm a pianist. So um, I really, really enjoy um, seeing the music and seeing the rhythm and seeing the thought process that goes on. And also, I want to commend your wonderful teacher, Mr. Fragil.
to tell the community, this child that is born is going to be a king or a queen. And the community has to honor that child. That's what the message you were sending today. The drum and the history of African American and the diaspora go together. Because as soon as the drum was taken out and banned, people of African descent were also pushed aside. Their instruments pushed aside, and they were pushed aside. And what did they do when they were no longer playing? What you were doing today. <laughs> What you were doing today, <laughs> you will not take who I am. I am a free spirit. You might take my drum, but you will not take my history. Okay? So the body, the emotions now. That's what I felt in your room when I walked in. Why did I feel that? Because since very small, I lived around players of drums, who were people of knowledge. People who knew the secret language of the drum. And I said to my friend Donna, who was my student of anthropology years ago, I said, Donna, we must have them. Okay? Why did I say that? Because I come from a tradition of drumming. And my spirit needed it. I needed you. Did you hear this? I needed to hear to feed my soul. And also Donna said, you know, they might not know how important they are. I think that that would be a good thing for them. I said, Donna, with an instrument like that? I said, I want to be the teacher. I want to be the drummer. So that's what led me to ask you to be here today. We're going to show them some pictures, right? Because I know they're being they're tired, and they, but I promise you that if I'm invited, I will come back and give you the whole, you know, I have so many things that I prepared to tell you, all the different kinds of drums. I wanted to also tell you that drumming is a future job for you <coughs> because if you continue the craft, it will allow you to self-discover yourself. You won't need anybody to motivate you from the outside. If you drum, the motivation is going to come from inside. It's going to do something very important too. You out. So whatever was in the past is in the past. You are the new beginning. Thank you very much.
Doesn't he look black? Okay. They're saying that he's mestizo, okay? Uh, you know, because a lot of people don't want to acknowledge Africa. Okay, done. And I was going to get into, okay, now this is our favorite city that I lived many, many, many years. It's a city that needs to be honored because it's one of the cities that have kept the drumming tradition. New Orleans, 15 minutes. New Orleans. Um, New Orleans has been able through the school to teach their children the value of New Orleans <coughs> culture. And they have been able to instill drumming in the schools, just like your school. It's very special. Because I remember that when I was teaching at the Museum 